Hey, 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 what's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. For those who are new to my channel, my name's Yelena the owner of what? LBE. All right, y'all. Happy Tuesday. Um, I made a video last night. I was just, like, working so much that I told myself I'd post it today. So, y'all see another video coming at, um, before this one or after this one, whichever way, I, whichever order I put them in. Just look out for two videos, okay? <laughs> um, but... I have been working on a lot of tray gifts because um, the different containers that I have, um, I don't have some that will fit what I'm trying to put in there or I have some that are too big or too small, which is what I'm trying to say. So I have decided to pull out all my trays and get to work in them, okay? Um, I was going to do the square tray like this. These are the trays I got from Dollar General for a penny. Um, remember I told you guys I only picked up like the tan ones um for uh 90 percent off and then i went back for the colored ones um the purple ones the pink ones the blue ones i went back for those after they went to a penny because um honestly i really didn't know what i was gonna do with them and then two um i just got the ones i knew i could use pretty much throughout the entire year which i think i can use all of them but i just i pumped my brakes because these two stores had so many that some of them could have waited until um at at a penny so i took a chance and i was able to get them for a penny these are the the little platters the plastic platters that some of the dollar generals had um in their stores which is really a pop shelf um price tag but some of the stores were giving these i guess as a trial error run or whatever to see if they could sell them um but apparently I guess they couldn't because baby I watched these things every single day and eventually they all went on sale and they were still fully stocked. Um so I have the mugs and the um the platters and the bowls. So you'll see me periodically throughout the year use all of those in some type of shape, form, or fashion. Um I'm also pulling out a lot of bears and stuffed animals that I had just lingering around from the previous years. Um I think these are from like two years ago and they came with a blanket inside um and i'm not sure what i did with the blankets but i think they were using easter baskets or something uh but anywho i still i kept the stuffed animals and i separated them from the blankets um because whatever design i was using were called called for one of those blankets so uh anyway i'm gonna go ahead and use the bears they are velcro attached um by the hands and the feet um and then i'm gonna add in one of these gift sets that i bought about two years ago as well that I had still had lingering around this uh, unicorn, um, no, last year, sorry. This unicorn lavender body lotion and lavender shower gel. Where it comes with two bath bombs and a shower loofah. Um, and it comes in this little bag. And so I decided to go ahead and utilize this. I've already utilized the other one. I had two left. Um, and then I have two other ones that I'm going to do with like some slippers. A slipper gift set. Um, that I had purchased when I purchased these. I paid about $2.50 for these. Um, and then this bear came with the blanket. I want to say it was like $2.50 as well. But it came with the blanket. So basically what I'm doing is I'm sticking the body set inside. It's really not like a whole work, a whole lot of work done to this. I'm uh, taking the paw and I'm sticking it through the handle of the little gift bag that it comes, this gift set comes in. Just so I can make sure that the gift set is seen um, as much as possible. And then I'm actually going to pull out some of the blankets that I had left over from Christmas. I only had a few, but um, the blankets I had left over from Christmas that I had created. Slide that over there. That I had created uh, using two-tone, so it's like a solid color in the inside. And then the unicorn print on the outside. Um, and I'm just going to take these. And I thought I had some paper. Alright y'all. So I just took a piece of the craft paper. Balled up paper. Um, and I'm just going to put it in the middle. And I'm going to roll this blanket. Until I come all the way to the end. Um, and then I'm going to take a little bit of ribbon and tie it off. So hang on just one second. So 
So these are going to be made just a little bit different from each other because of the simple fact that I'm using whatever I have left on hand um, to create some more gifts with. Um, I did about 15 other tray gifts, I think is how many I did last night. Um, along with this big one in the back. Along with this get well order that I got going out today. They should be here in shortly to pick up. Um, yeah, I'm still filling orders as I work. <laughs> Don't ask me how I'm doing it, but I'm filling these orders and getting these orders out as well. Um, along with, you know, finalizing any, uh, other stuff that I need to finalize. All right. So as you can see, I just slid it in here and set it up like so. Um, and then I have a few of these left from the previous year. Not last year, but the year before last, I was able to get these after Christmas, um, and they were only 25 cents. And they didn't go 20, all the books didn't go 25 cents like they did, um, back in, uh, 2022. Last year, last year, all the books didn't go, uh, this past year, you know, this past Christmas, all the books didn't go. They only did the, um, the Christmas, uh, ones instead of all the different characters, which is crazy because I was waiting on that to go too so I can uh replenish for Easter, but it's okay. I ain't mad about it. But I only have a few of these left. These are frozen. Hey, frozen it's the color scheme. That's all we that's all we worrying about at this point. So I'ma slide this in the back. I'm gonna take some uh fish line and join it together I honestly don't want to put any uh, tape on that book you know some stuff you just don't want to destroy and I know my tape is gonna tear that up so I you know I just go <laughs> we just gonna use some fish line and tie it off real quick okay not even gonna take that doggone book through that it'd be kind of pointless to put tape on that bad boy All right, tie it off again, and I just tore it. That was beautiful. Take two. Oh my God, what is going on today? Eight, nine, ten. All right, y'all. So then we're gonna take some fish line, and we're just gonna tie it off. Um. to make sure that that book doesn't move. Um, and the reason why I'm using the fish lines is because I could use tape, but I don't want to destroy that book because it's really made of like, you know, a whole lot of paper or whatever. So I'm using the fish line to help uh, secure it until it's wrapped or to help it, you know, when, when wrapping so it don't fall apart. All right. Now we got the fish line on there to hold the book in place. Let me make sure it's on there right. All right. So the book is basically the backer. Um, and then that's the front. And then the last thing we're going to do is I'm going to add in some color pencils. And one of these little um, rose ink pens that I got for a penny. The color pencils I got for, I think it was 75 cents. Yeah. 75 cents um, at Dollar Journal a while back. And I tell you a while, because I bought a whole bunch of them, and they've been going in Easter basket after Easter basket after Easter basket, until they were all gone. And as you can see, they ain't all gone. <laughs> uh, but I'm also going to slide this balloon in here. I'm going to kind of put it over the, uh, if I can, put it over the, um, whatchamacallit, whatchamacallit. And then I'm going to stick this crayon box now I ain't worrying about this come you know doing what it do stick the crayon box against the balloon I think I stuck it too high bring it down so oh honey I want to act right I have to use some glue dots playing games with me um, and then I'm going to take another small piece of tape. I'm going to use this off-brand tape. 
because I don't want that um, pen doing too much. And I'm gonna stick the stick the um, pen to the color pencils. Add a little bit more security to this balloon down at the bottom. All right, and as you can see, this is the gift set. I'm about to slide it into a bag. Um, I'm using the 24 by 32 bags. It's no, it's a snug fit, but it fits. Um, and it still gives me room at the top to um, allow the, uh, I really don't like this. Let me bring this down. So It gives me room at the top to allow the um, extra baggage to hang over. There we go. That looks better. And this is pretty much it, y'all. This is how this design is going to go. Um, again, uh, I'm not putting candy in these. I mean, some stuff you can put candy in. If they ask if you have candy, baby, look. I bring them Sour Patch Kids and be like, I got some Sour Patch Kids. Or whatever candy I got left, I be like, I got this for a certain amount of money. And they can pay for extra for candy or whatever. But I'm not putting candy in every single thing. I'm just not finna do it. Um, and uh, some people don't want their kids to have a whole lot of candy and stuff like that. Even though it's Valentine's Day. So, I got some with candy and some without candy. That's just how we gonna roll, Okay. So, um, anyway, I hope this video, you know, gave you guys some more inspiration to look around and see what you got left, pop it on a tray, and make it do what it do. So, as you can see, this gift is ready to go. Cool little gift, little fun gift for a little girl. Um, I got a Paw Patrol one finna come up. Uh, I'm just pulling out these trays and making it do what it do, okay? <laughs> so, um, yeah, I got a Paw Patrol one coming up, finna put it on the tray. Um, and we're just gonna keep it rocking. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? So thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.